thousand people. That's a lot. That's a lot of your neighbors all going to see that show. And we kind of take it for granted when you hear those numbers. But in, you got to wonder, though, really, how did it all begin? Did it all start out like that? Oh, no. Take a look at tonight's World of Wonder. Air Show is the largest military air show in the nation. It's a show that could never have gotten off the ground without the air station ground itself. Miramar was first named in 1890 when newspaper publisher Edward Scripps bought 2,000 acres for a ranch. During World War I, the Navy bought the ranch and being on a mesa proved an ideal landing area for planes. In 1927, Charles Lindbergh tested his new plane, the Spirit of St. Louis, before his historic solo transatlantic flight. In the early 1930s, an airfield was opened with a docking station for dirigibles. You could say the very first Miramar Air Show happened here on May 11, 1932, when 25,000 people turned out to watch as the world's largest helium-filled airship, USS Akron, tried to dock at Miramar. But it proved fatal. Fog and a lack of experience led to the deaths of two sailors as crews struggled to tire down. As a deflated airship program died out, the airfield expanded as the nation ramped up for World War II. Camp Kearney trained thousands, and the airfield took off. But when the war came to an end, the Navy left and the Marines moved in, but a year later, the Marines also left for El Toro, and the Navy returned. During that time, Admiral Chester Nimitz had commissioned a naval flying team to give inspirational demonstrations. They took on the moniker Blue Angels, and their popularity soared. After the Korean War, the Navy tried to sell Miramar to the city of San Diego. The price? One dollar. But the city refused the deal. The Navy stayed, building one of the most prestigious flying facilities in the country. Miramar became known as Fighter Town USA. Here, the famed Top Gun program helped expand Miramar to 24,000 acres. The Navy remained at Miramar until 1997, when the military began to downsize. And once again, the Marines moved back in. Now at Miramar Corps Air Station Miramar, the air show continues its legacy, attracting thousands, helping to fuel San Diego's economy as daredevils defy gravity and future pilots look to the sky. And a day when their dreams will take off in this world of wonder. Hmm. It really so, is a world of wonder. So when is the Navy taking over again? What's the <laughs> <just, laughs> <it's laughs> Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised, David, because it's happened ever since it really began yeah. back in 1932 when you saw those dirigible yeah. there. Wow, that's right. amazing. Yeah. yeah, it really is. Uh, and it's going to be another amazing show tomorrow, although yeah. we'll be a little showery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aren't they making they another Top it. Gun movie? Sorry to interrupt, but another Top Gun movie? I think yeah, they're going to be that? making Top Gun. It's just a mistake. It just reminded me. They won't be able to do it at MCS Miramar. Because they're Navy guys. Right, yeah. Right. I don't know where this has gone. I'm sorry. I have it off the rails right now. Let's go to sports. Let's go to sports.